start with Julia. So um, Julia had her uh, second set of vaccines today and we took her to get that done. She actually finished her heat pretty early this morning. <clears throat> early. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. She finished early this morning. And so right on schedule, she was due today, November 6th for her second rounds of vaccines. Um, and then we had her. So she claimed that Julia was going to get, was getting vaccinated. And if you look at it, that video, clearly that's a, a video from when they first got Julia. Julia was still a kitten. You can tell by the size, you can tell on her face, as an old footage. And I don't know if she thinks she's doing something. That little snippet is not convincing anybody that you're taking care of your cat. And I don't want to talk about the damn cat anymore. But Chantal, this is why people are on you, because you're a terrible liar. Just take care of your pet. And in my opinion, I believe Chantal does not want to dump any money in that cat, if she can. Because she knows in the end, probably Julia is going to end up in the street. Which is messed up because he gave this poor cat a false hope. You know? of being somebody's pet and my gut instinct is telling me that this cat is going to end up being dumped out in the street when this whole business transaction these two have together so yeah I don't want to get my myself upset about this damn cat so now the next part of this video she is going to update us on this friend situation very similar in a lot of ways we have a lot of similar situations and that's how we ended up bonding um over the last year and um i know people think i don't have friends i do have friends i don't ever talk about them online um the most recent one i hung out with she wanted me to post a picture of us together because you know, she hates people saying, uh, seeing, she hates seeing people say, you know, oh, she'll, she, she's not meeting anyone, she doesn't have any friends, that kind of thing. Chantal, people say you don't have any friends because it is true, as said from Pete. So I can say you do have a friend, Pete. All of your other friends, especially female friends, you ended up doxing the whole life story for content on YouTube and they end up getting mad at you and your friendship ends so when people say you don't have any friends in actuality they are really not lying because it's a fact you seem to forget that some of us have watched you for a long long time it is a fact and if pete wasn't such a loyal person chantal in actuality you would be without a, a friend altogether. You would be without a friend all together. You're lucky that you have a friend like Pete that's loyal. But as far as other female friends, ma'am, no, you do not. You don't have any other female friends. So she's like, you know what? I want you to post this. So I did. But of course, with her face blurred out because people are nuts. Like, do you blame me? Do you think I'm going to come on here and be like, oh yeah, I talked to this friend, this friend? They would be doxxed instantly. Like, what they did with my new friend, they literally picked apart everything she was wearing and tried to match where she got it from. Like, all right, I'm sorry. But, and they did this on the farms. I'm like, I'm sorry, but why are you picking on someone for shopping at like Timu, Sheen, wherever you suspect they shop from? Um, when, let's face it, you're not shopping at Versace. Successful people don't sit on Kiwi farms all day and pick apart other people, okay? It doesn't happen. Anyway, moving on from that, um, I digress. So, Basically, um, this person I was talking to, so anyway, she, um, she ended up, you know, the dust settled, they made up and basically, um, they talked and she got more information out of him, of course. So here's the thing, your mentality, whenever you've had a, an incident of infidelity in your relationship, uh, her too, her boyfriend was, um, he never cheated in person, but he was, um, talking to someone online or something like that okay so right there she is referring to the kybella situation yes Chantal, i know friends in quotation mark she's referring to kybella right there and my feelings on that is and always have been is it really cheating if you're not really with any with somebody is it really cheating 
if the two people are not together. That has always been my question on that whole Kaibara situation. Anyway, so <clears throat> when that happens to you in a relationship, any situation that you encounter involving any female, the immediately the immediate response is to be defensive and to be suspicious and to think the worst. So she told me that, you know, her boyfriend found out about her coming online and confiding in strangers on the internet, which is, you know, I told her, we appreciate the Beezers, we appreciate the audience for giving their side. Sometimes it's nice to just talk to, see if other people, you know, have gone through similar things. Lots of opinions sometimes helps, but it doesn't ever, it's never a good idea to bring your personal life to the internet, especially for relationships. And um, so I told her that's, you know, I wouldn't do that anymore, you know, and um, so uh, after the dust settled, basically she said, you know, the, the boyfriend was mad that, she, you know, he wasn't, he didn't get to voice his, his side, not opinion, but his side. So I'm going to do that a bit here for him and for her um, at her request also. Basically, um, so this friend told you everything is good to stop talking about it online but you think it's a good idea to come back to talk about it online but now it's okay because he wants you to tell his side of the story online Chantal this is you're making this stuff as you go along honey we get it you're talking about Salah but I picked up on that I'm like wait I thought they didn't want you to talk about them but now you're still talking about them but now they say it's okay to talk about them. Like, it's so confusing, Chantal. Stop it. Stop it. He was very taken aback um, by her outrage. Like, she, they were talking one minute about plans. They were joking, laughing. And the next minute, she was, like, angry. Like, almost, like, throwing things and just screaming and not giving him a chance. He became immediately defensive because she's very... A very very suspicious and paranoid person um, and he feels suffocated by that sometimes because she doesn't you know the trust is it's being rebuilt let's just say and you know I get that too I get that that feeling where you're like always you know wondering and always tracking and stuff like that so his response was immediately defensive like I'm not showing you anything um, you don't you know you don't like you don't deserve to see it you, you the way you're screaming at me and you know, I don't want to feel like I'm in jail and blah, blah, blah. So, um... Okay, that last bit of that clip was telling he doesn't want to feel like he's in jail or in prison. Okay, I'm just gonna take from what I've observed from watching her when she was trying to get El Stabby to claim her. From that, I'm gonna say, to me, it sounds like Chantal. And I still is still holding up hope that she can make Salah fall in love with her and it's not working and in her head like she did of El Stabby in her head they are in a relationship with him he's just keeping it business and she can't seem to crap that this rings so much of the same stuff that she did of El Stabby by her trying to push herself onto El Stabby and El Stabby wasn't having it. And here I feel like in the same way, Salah is pushing back on her, trying to push herself onto him into being in a relationship. So this is what I'm getting from this whole conversation. It's the exact same playbook. That was the initial. Another thing is also he was worried to show her the conversation um, because she he didn't think that she would understand the situation because she has overreacted before and that you know i said that's you know you have to understand that that's a normal response and you have to have patience with situations like this especially if there was a breach of trust in the past so um i think he finally understands that you know and, and salatu understands that just so you, in case you were wondering his stance on it um so it turned out that finally he you know she just said like if you you know if you want to really regain my trust give me those passwords give me you know and so he did he gave her the phone password he gave her uh instagram password TikTok, all that but that's you know that's not a fail proof thing um that's the horrible thing about lack of trust you know there's always you know if somebody really wants to cheat or really wants to be 
you know, not faithful, there's always a way. Um, but at least it's a step. And he, the most important thing in my mind was that he proved that who this woman was in the end. And um, well, he did delete the conversation um, and the, you know, the, the conversation, um, he was able to find um, a picture of her and her husband. Apparently this woman is married and apparently um, he was also defending like he that she wasn't wearing she wasn't showing her cleavage this woman was wearing like a more tight fitting snug fitting t-shirt um it wasn't like super modest but it wasn't super revealing i think my friend was just initially like oh my gosh you know she's like she's a prostitute or something like i don't know what her thought was you know what i mean like that kind of thing like well she said something meaner but you know it, it, that was the initial like she was some kind of sex worker or something and nothing wrong with that and for those who are new to chantal in case you don't know that's chantal's that's her girl too, when she's insulting other women. She did the same thing with Allah Shabib's wife. She called her a W-H-O-R-E word. That's her girl too. Every time she is insulting another female in situations like this, that's her girl too. So in case you're wondering, if you're not convinced that this whole situation encompasses Chantal and salad boy right there that should solidify that for you guys like honestly that this whole thing clearly from the get-go i've been saying it's about chantal but that little nugget right there yeah this is a salah and chantal conversation nothing wrong with that if that's what you are i'm just saying that's what you know the initial thought was i don't know um so um apparently this woman and her husband were former customers of her boyfriend. This boyfriend has had the same WhatsApp number for over eight years. It's a business number and he's worked in sales for a long time. And he has a lot of customers that would reach out to him um, and buy stuff from him. So yeah, I guess, you know, males and females. Um, he even showed her like another female customer that she didn't really know about, but it was like an older woman. And um, so, yeah, so this woman anyways was um, married and he proved that he proved like her name on the WhatsApp. He matched it up to some sales um, records he had, <laughs> you know, thank goodness that saved the day. And um, it's just all fell into place once, like I said, the dust settled and she wasn't as paranoid and she started to like actually listen because like she wasn't listening. She was just like attacking attacking and he became very defensive about that but i said you know it's still sus a little bit like what made it sus was the deleting everything at first you know and um so i don't know um but his, his defense to that was that she wouldn't have understood she would have, you know just thought the worst anyways so okay so first let me start off with in the other video chantal said that this woman was a co-worker how did she move from being a co-worker to being a customer this whole thing like is so made up it's so made up and the other part the other point i need um i feel like what happened here i feel like salah put it in a place i honestly think that yeah she was probably angry blah 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 but i think salah put it in a place and told her like yay we're not together what are you talking about that's 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 what I'm getting because this will make a lot of sense why Ch Chantal has been out the last two times going for coffee by herself because I think she's trying to prove herself to Salah a lot of the stuff is so nuanced but the more I look at it the more it makes sense like what I'm saying with her trying to get Salah to fall in love with her and wanting to be with her that's what she attempted to do by strong arming him it did not work she got pushed back so now she's trying to prove herself to Salad. that is the story and i'm dying on that hill you guys i am dying on this hill so um i guess uh you know if you see a woman messaging your man on whatsapp and saying hi how are you or whatever you know you're gonna think the worst <laughs> and you know any explanation is going to seem like an excuse if you don't trust right so um so to save the headache 
he deleted it, but then he ended up explaining and showing her that, that proof that was needed once everyone calmed down and they were not as angry anymore. So that's the update on that. Um, things are okay with them now. And um, he, they don't want me to talk about it anymore online because they're worried about being doxxed, even if nobody knows their names. Who knows? People find things out very easily online. People with a lot of time and nothing better to do and a lot of hate in their hearts. So, um... And that's the story on that believe it or not that's what happened and um so they're giving it you know they've made up it's it's, it's fine um but she wants to thank everyone for listening it means a lot to her and she is um she said her boyfriend you know assured her he would never hurt her um other than the one incident, he's never, you know, he's never ever, he, he's never cheated in person. It's just, like I said, a quick, like, online thing. Um, wasn't emotional, but, um, yeah, it still was an infidelity. Like, I'm not excusing it. You know, it still was hurtful. And, um, yeah, it was somebody she knew, too. Um, and... <laughs> You just be careful. Like, ladies, you never know, like, who you're, who you can trust in life. I'm telling you. Some people are snakes. So, um, but that's okay. You can always take out the trash. <laughs> My well, anyways, you guys, that was her story. She's sticking to it. If you want to see the whole video, it's on our channel. But the whole thing made absolutely no sense of, at all. I think she's trying to stick it to Salah by coming online and saying like, hey, this is what happened. But he wasn't fighting this time. He's not caving in. And then this whole false relationship thing, I don't get it. I don't, honestly don't get it, but that's what she wants to do. That's what she wants to do. So anyways, here is the next video from last night. So this was a, an interesting little discussion from my last stream from last night. So this is so There's music out there, guys. In, Sorry about that. Um, maybe I'll put the seat. No, I'll sit here in case. Yeah, I know this is not really good, but oh my gosh, you guys. Oh. 310? Okay, I'll mark it down. They have ashtrays at this Starbucks. <laughs> oh. Okay guys, let me put my stand on for you guys. Um, Amy Jo, they have, they don't have the brand Fix, I don't think here. Um, I'm not sure where to buy them, but there's with a nice view, eh? We're under an umbrella. Under the umbrella, bees. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Beezy break. I know there's too much sugar, I know, I know. Next time I come here, I'll get sugar-free. But, like, you guys, I get excited like you guys for all the seasonal things. You know? I'm a gimmick hoe. <laughs> so, you guys, am I the only one who does not like pumpkin spice anything? Like, pumpkin spice coffee, pumpkin spice cookies. I think they taste horrible. Am I the only one since you brought this up? I cannot stand the smell or the taste of it. Ugh, it's, I don't know, I just don't like it at all. So, my blood sugar was 7.9 this morning, so I'm about to ruin that. No I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I have a water, and uh, Jory, I know my wedding information seems confusing. I'm just going to, you know, hold on. People just walked in with a whole bunch of tattoos. That's cool. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only white person, but that's not true. <laughs> 
Yeah, Chantal, that's how usually it works out when you go outside instead of like living like a hostage. No matter what culture you're in, no matter where you are at in the world, there's always different types of people within that culture. Isn't that amazing when you go out and actually try to interact with people? You should do this more often. There's a lot. This is a pumpkin. Remember, I haven't had this since Canada. Let's try it. I'm a movie star. So, how are you guys? Please talk to them. Maybe I'll say, hey, where are you from? Maybe they won't like that. But... Yeah, okay, dare me? I won't put them on camera, but. Be like, hey, we're fellow whiteies. They're probably British or from Australia. That's my guess. Who wants to bet? Please tell me that she is fully aware that there are a lot of white people in all cultures. There's a lot of other races in all cultures. Please tell me that this woman is trolling me. Please tell me that she is trolling me. And please tell me that she doesn't think just Australia and your, oh, what did she say? UK, whatever are the only people of white people. Please tell me that this woman is strolling. I, I chuckled when I heard her say this. I honestly chuckled. Mm. Actually, it's not that sweet. Wow. I need it to be sweeter. Hey, Granny. Thank you. Chantal. <laughs> Crazy eye cookies, I mean. Do you think people would like me more if I was just nicer? Probably not. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. There's a nice breeze. <sighs> the freedom of morning bees. I snuck out when he's sleeping. <laughs> Actually, I did. <laughs> I was like, I was awake. He was, he fell asleep. He was tired. <clears throat> so. And, uh. So, my question is, when does Salah work exactly? No matter what time she's streaming, he always makes an appearance in her live streams. Exactly when does he work? Clearly, this was early in the morning when she did this live stream, and yet he's supposed to be sleeping. If he's sleeping during the day and he's on a live stream with her at night time, when is he working? I don't understand it. I honestly did not get this whole setup at all. What racist comments? <laughs> Hey, Melanie. Guessing where someone's from? Hey, uh, guys. Hello? They ignored me. And actually, you guys, you know what? At that moment right there, I actually felt bad for her. I absolutely, honestly, actually did feel bad for her at that moment. I don't know why, but I did. I really think I'm talking to you guys. Snobbed. <laughs> Do you think they, they they thought I was talking to you guys, maybe? Or maybe they just hate me. Maybe they're haters and they came here to see me. <sighs> well, because I said whiteies, so then if, he, if other black people say the N-word, it is racist then? Because... I'm white, if you haven't noticed. I can't say whiteies. I can't keep up with the words, with the rules, okay? You gotta be louder. I was like, hey guys. Yeah, they were already halfway down the stairs. FF gun informants, yeah. 
Probably. No, it's too bright. They're super fan. Maybe they heard you call them whiteies. I doubt it. <laughs> so nice out. He tells a Rafe doll. No, I'm not going to be doing a podcast. First of all, Amberlyn would never. And, uh... A podcast about weight? No thanks. It's not a subject I'm very interested in making a podcast about. Talking about calories and fucking diet food. But maybe we could do something else. I don't even know what the whole idea was. I didn't listen to his whole stream, so... We can't say anything anymore without someone being a fed. It's so true. Do you know how many times I've been cancelled? Yeah, bear! Excuse me, fellow whiteies. I literally have the same makeup on. I, like, I literally fell asleep and woke up and I'm like, coffee. Just like usual. Oh. Favorite serial killers? You know, the problem with... And at that point, I was like, nope, nope, nope. I'm out of this conversation. I don't care to listen anymore. But that little snippet from my live stream actually was... It's what made me chuckle. So that's what I got from her from live stream. And I think we are caught up in Shantopolis. I have not seen Raph and Shani go live for a while. What the heck is going on with those two? I need to go and go snooping on the channel to see what's going on. But I will catch you guys in the next video. Later, later.